This video is sponsored by Epidemic Sound. For all your music and sound needs, please visit Epidemic Sound if you need ocean waves, a face slap or punch, <laughs> thunder, keyboard clicking, Some 90s rock and roll for your first month's free please visit epidemic sound link in my description let's get into the video uh, oh. I was doing this earlier just uh, I guess if people had said it Anyway, how is y'all doing today? This is, of course, your boy Valentis. Anyway, in this package, we have the contents of, um, the contents containing a new lens. I am out of breath. Anyway, I decided that I wanted to uh, share this moment of, you know, excitement with y'all. It's a couple days before Christmas, meaning, you know, I'm in the holiday spirit. Got myself a little gift. I wanted a new lens for my Mamiya. So, that's what I went ahead and got. For everybody wondering, I will let you know what it, what lens it is in a second. And I finally got it. It is the 110 f 2.8. It is a 2.8 aperture on a medium format camera. That's gonna be wild. I was shooting something very like low light this morning, and like I said, I wish I would have had this, had it this morning, but you know. 90 mil, 90 millimeter lens. If you, um, you know, want it, please let me know because I am, I'm not over it. I like that focal length a lot, and I like that lens a lot. It's a very good lens. So I shouldn't say that I'm over it, but this is what I've been waiting on. Ah oh, yeah, baby. Ah oh, yeah, baby. Whew! Finally got this lens. I've been like trying to get this lens for quite a while now um clearly we're gonna go out and shoot with it i'm gonna you know what i'm saying get some sample photos and show y'all what it's really like but yeah right now i'm just like i can't even believe it such a good looking lens such a good lens too like but anyway the next clip is um gonna be a clip of me shooting with the lens and the camera so um yeah see y'all uh wherever i'm gonna be shooting with today is friday the 18th um in the next clip, I will let you know what day it is and uh, what what we're shooting and all that. But anyway, see y'all then. Hey. Uh, in a second. I told her to do my fish tank too. This one? Yeah. Really? So I made another one to take with me. <laughs> all right, right there is fine. All right, one, two. <laughs> I couldn't see your face. <laughs> nah, not that many subscribers. I wish. All right, one, two, perfect. No? Nah. Should we? Should we do the solo? <laughs> that was cool. <laughs> one, two. Uh, you can just stay like that. All right, one, two. I'm gonna get closer. One. Actually, here, let's go to the table. Change my mind. No, it's perfect. 
Actually, let's take one next to the Christmas tree after this. Ooh. <laughs> All right. One, two. Perfect. I think you did blink, but it's fine. I definitely think you blinked. I uh, definitely <laughs> Definitely looked like a blink. Don't do it. Just did my video on natural light. And what I, you know what I'm saying? There's a lot of light coming in through this window. Like, probably the most out of everywhere. But instead of taking a picture right next to the window, we got the tree, so it like gives it a, we give gives it an excuse to pull them away from the window. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Birch. What? <laughs> I'm gonna actually go up here. I'm gonna get out. Let me get up. All right, yeah, you can stand next to the Christmas tree. Ah. Uh, Come in front. <laughs> no, I definitely stand up. Fuck, I don't know how to. I don't even know how to take this picture. That was weird, bro. This is too tight. Could you get closer to the tree a little bit? I know that's kind of like weird. There you go, right there, it's fine. And... Y'all see the Glory Boy shirt? Go, go. All right, fuck, let's go. Film this video. Huh? My, the subscribers? Go. All right, and we are back at the crib, and this lens, man, this this 110 uh, 2.8 lens is is honestly for me, it's a game changer, and it's my new favorite lens. I feel like if you do have the Mimiya RZ67 and don't have this lens, then see, I don't like to make gear like this big deal, but bro, this lens is is fucking wild. Honestly, I've never been able to shoot indoors or like um like kind of shoot indoors with lower light and be comfortable shooting it handheld without a tripod up until like a couple days ago when i got this lens not only is this lens i mean like it lets a lot of light in because of the 2.8 aperture but it is severely severely sharp like if you touch it you're, ah. Yeah, bro, this, this lens is, is really crazy. Like, even with it on my camera, like, it just feels like luxury. I'm not gonna lie to you. Like, it, it just feels really nice, really nice to look at, really, you know what I'm saying? Just everything about it. The build quality is very good. Um, goes all the way up to 32. Like, the aperture goes all the way up to 32. Don't know who's shooting at, uh, you know, a 32 aperture. I've held off on getting this lens for so long because it is a 110 um like focal length let me see what the equivalent to that is on like a regular camera so if i do the math the crop factor is 0 0.5 so if i do 110 um times 0 0.5 that equals a 55 millimeter lens this is so um i'm not very used to shooting oh shit i'm not very used to shooting like that type of an angle when I shoot my portraits. If y'all do know, I'm very into the environmental wide angle type of portrait. I usually shoot, my other lens that I have for this camera is a 50 millimeter, which is a 25 millimeter on my full frame camera, which is what I'm kind of normally used to shooting with and what I actually love shooting with and what I've been shooting with since I've started photography, even on my digital cameras, I was shooting with a 24 millimeter. So that is what I'm used to. 55, I never really got into that. I always thought the 50 millimeter focal length was kind of boring and just like not for me just didn't let enough 
of the environment in and i thought maybe if i was just doing headshots or something like that then you know maybe i'll shoot with a 50 millimeter if i was doing product shots or some something like that then maybe i'll shoot with a 50 millimeter i just you know what i'm saying when i first started i was very naive and just very you know stuck in my ways and a lot of a lot of things change over time once i started shooting film and started you know learning about different lenses and the different things lenses do um but to be fair i have been shooting with my 90 millimeter way more than i've been shooting with my 50 millimeter on my rz67 so um honestly i've been shooting a tighter angle for quite a bit now and i've just got like to be like i still like the the wide angle like lens and view of things but to be fair and honest I can't, i'm kind of more into like the the tighter angles honestly i want a 65 so like i can have like a 35 millimeter um lens focal length because i feel like that's probably the you know for me it's in between both and i would probably you know i would like that a lot but um this 110 man i'm not gonna lie to you it is my favorite lens i've ever shot with using this camera now that i think about it when sam used to have a rz he had the 110 on there and that's kind of what made me want to get a uh, um, medium format camera and i'm like oh shit it was this lens that i was using so yeah anyway this lens amazing fantastic lens if you have an rz67 try it out i wish they made um a lens like this for the rb67 because um i do i love the rb67 it very minimal issues no issues ever the whole time i had it and you know the mamiya has had multiple issues since i've had it and if you know they made this lens this is one of the reasons this lens right here was honestly one of the reasons i got an rz67 when i got the rz67 i didn't get this lens immediately but i knew i had to have an rz67 if i wanted to use this lens for the most part this lens is going to stay on there but honestly i think i'm going to sell my 90 millimeter because i i think it's just gonna i think this lens will replace it and i probably may may or may not use it that often anymore so i don't know who knows but anyway that's going to wrap it up for me christmas is tomorrow so merry christmas to everybody like i said in my podcast man hopefully santa didn't get covid and he you know brought you your goodies and came to your house and you know what i'm saying broke into your house and left you something and ate all your cookies drank all your milk all that anyway i seen the nigga at the mall so i'm pretty sure he's perfectly fine to go so yeah with that being said man this video is over if you are not subscribed to the channel please do me a favor hit that subscribe button if you are already subscribed i am not talking to you because you did what you had to do but do ring that bell so you get notified every single time i drop a new video it is always truthfully and gratefully appreciated um hope you guys are having a great week and have a very you know merry christmas eve and merry christmas i'm going to get out of here and gonna finish some last minute uh, christmas shopping because i'm you know a little bit behind but other than that, let's go do some shit.